Welcome to Discovering MNOVA 15. In this video, we introduce our new 3D Spectrum Viewer. With this viewer, you can transform your 1D, 2D or 3D data into a three-dimensional plot, enabling enhanced visual analysis of your spectra. To get started, we will show you how to visualize a 1D stacked spectra using the 3D Spectrum Viewer. In this case, we have nine proton spectra from a hydrolysis reaction at various times. Start by navigating to the View tab and clicking on the 3D Spectrum Viewer button. The visor window appears, showing a three-dimensional plot of the stacked spectra. The axes of the 3D plot represent the chemical shift, spectral numbering and intensity values synchronized with the canvas. Now, you can rotate the plot by dragging it. Adjust the intensity with the mouse wheel and zoom in or out by holding shift while scrolling the mouse wheel. Double click on the plot to reset its view. If you zoom in on a specific chemical shift range in the canvas, the plot will readjust automatically. Likewise, returning to the full view of the stacked spectra by pressing F will prompt the plot to do the same. Within this viewer, you will find several options for 1D spectra. You can choose an active spectrum by choosing its number from the applicable spin box. Additionally, you can display a specific vertical trace by adjusting the chemical shift using either the spin box or the slider. These options are initially visible to the viewer by default. If you wish to maximize your viewing space, you can hide them by clicking the Hide panel button. In this example, the viewer displays stacked spectra from a reaction monitoring experiment, but it's also useful for examining pseudo 2D spectra such as T1 or DOSI experiments. The next scenario involves 2D spectra. In this case, we will use a quinine HSQC spectrum to show how to visualize it in three dimensions. After processing and analyzing the spectrum, go to the View tab and click on the 3D Spectrum Viewer. The viewer will open, presenting a plot. As you can see, the plot displays the F1 and F2 axes with their applicable units on the plane, in this case PPM, and intensity values on the projected axis. The plot includes a contour colour on the plane, which is contingent upon the spectrum's intensity. You can adjust this intensity either on the canvas or directly on the graph by using the mouse wheel, resulting in a colour change. The viewer offers two options for viewing the horizontal and vertical traces you want to see. You can specify a chemical shift in the spin box or use the slider. If you prefer to maximise the plot space, you can hide these options, as we explained previously, by clicking the Hide Panel button. The display options are the same as in the 1D case, however, the 2D spectrum introduces a new feature. By right-clicking on a position in the graph, you can select that position and a red ball will appear, as you can see. If you select another position, a new ball appears there, and the previous ball disappears. Clicking on an empty position clears the selection. Our last focus is on a 3D spectra. In this case, we already have an imported spectrum from Topspin ready to visualize with the viewer. Begin navigating to the View tab and click on the 3D Spectrum Viewer button, then the Viewer window appears. This window displays a plot with two proton spectra and one carbon spectrum, all with axes labeled in PPM. The functionality of the viewer is the same as described previously, but we have more interaction options. As you can see, the viewer presents three small windows with the three planes, F3, F2, F3, F1, and F2, F1, and the corresponding spin boxes and sliders. It also presents an empty checkbox you can select. If you do this, the graph only shows the plane of this chemical shift, as you see for the case of F3, F2. You can choose one, two, or the three planes and move them through the slider 
or take the chemical shifts according to your preferences. When the slider is moved along a plane, the canvas automatically updates as well. Additionally, in the View tab, you can find five buttons near the Viewer button. Four of them are for navigating through the planes, allowing you to change them one by one or go directly to the first and last plane. The other button, 3D Plane View, allows you to change the canvas plane easily. For instance, you can switch between the F3F2 and the F3F1 planes, for example. These buttons can also be found in the Spectrum toolbar. At the bottom of the viewer, you can find some options. Show Spectrum. This allows you to view the signals from the spectrum in the viewer. You can adjust the opacity of these signals using the corresponding slider. Show Peaks displays the imported peaks as blue balls. And Show Frames use this choice to visualize the plane between axes. As mentioned previously, you can hide these windows and options by clicking on Hide Panel to gain more visual space. The viewer includes an Export to Image button, which exports the plot as a BMP file by default, but it also offers various formats. In this case, we save this one as Test 1, and we can open it through the Folder Manager. Note that you can change the settings in the Exporting Settings dialog. On the right, you can see the Help button. If you click on it, a dialog window appears with the mouse actions guide. Here concludes our tutorial on MNOVA's 3D Spectrum Viewer. If you have any questions or need further information, please don't hesitate to contact our support team via email. Thank you for watching.